Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marianne and this is the Minimalistic Budget. I'm on the journey to become student loan and consumer debt free, so if you'd like to follow along, just keep on watching. <laughs> Alright everyone, I hope you are all doing well. So we are going to be cash stuffing a total of $555. I didn't have time to go to my bank teller and so I ended up going to the ATM to withdraw my money, which is why we have a ton of fives to work with. They didn't really have the $10 option, so we'll work with what we have. So we're gonna do a quick little cash count first. One hundred. That's one fifteen. Perfect. So we have a grand total of five hundred and fifty five. All right. So now we're going to start with my wallet first, and just before I go ahead with the cash stuffing. This is the new wallet that I'm going to be releasing in my shop. I'm using the sample for now and I did do a video on my Instagram asking for your guys' feedback and I did get a ton of great feedback from you guys. Half of you wanted me to keep the wallet as is and the other half wanted me to remove the card slots inside just so we can make it slimmer and more compact. So I took the advice from both sides and I did redesign the wallet quite a bit. The sample for the final design is on its way and I cannot wait to show you. So we will go ahead with my receipts first and just to let you know if you are Canadian you can actually scan your receipts using an app called Receipt Jar. If you scan your receipts you can get points and with the points you can redeem them for gift cards. I do have a referral code down below and up on the screen here. If you use my code you get 200 points and I get 200 points so it's a win-win. So I'll be scanning these later and we're going to go ahead with my tabbed envelopes. I did change up my categories and I no longer will be using cash for groceries and gas for now. So right now my categories are coffee, going out, spending, and kindness. So we're only going to be cash stuffing coffee and going, sorry, spending. So coffee is getting $10.00. Going out is getting skipped and spending is getting 50. So that's 20, 40, 5, 50. And I will be using this money to buy some food for girls' night. And kindness, we're not cash stuffing anything. And then finally. I'm going to be taking out all of my coins. I have a ton of coins in here. Sorry, that was a little loud. Are all good with the coins. Now I'm gonna move on to my sinking funds. All right, so we are going to be starting out with my high priority binder first. Amazon is getting five dollars, and I will be um I will be updating my trackers after this video. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, thirty. And I also added some new categories to my binders, which is Buffer. This is for my business account, and it's getting 50, so there's 100 in there. My personal account is also getting 50, 
So there's also a hundred in there. Car maintenance is getting ten dollars. So now we have fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety-five, one hundred. Dental is getting ten dollars. So now we have one, two, three, fifty, seventy, ninety, four, ten, fifteen, twenty, four, twenty. Emergency is getting so this is my savings also getting 50 I also just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to be keeping the amounts for my savings and my checking accounts in here for too long just because I want to put it into a high yield savings account the reason why I'm using cash for now is so that I don't touch it so that's the reason why we have that here in case you guys are wondering why I have an envelope for checking and a savings account so that's that Mom is getting 10. Oops. So now we have 120, 40, 60, 80, 95, 200. My dad is also getting 10. So now we have. 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 200. Shopify is getting oops, $10. So now there's 20 in there. Vacation is getting 25 so now we have 20 45 50 and we do plan to go on a vacation hopefully in August or November um, we do want to go back to either Italy or Japan but we will see vision is getting 15 and you guys i broke my glasses i here let me show you so these are my glasses um i broke them and they just snapped in half i think i stepped on them because i left them on the floor and i didn't know that they were there so they were fine after i stepped on them but then all of a sudden like I, as i started wearing them again it just snapped so Thankfully, I had my old pair and I will need to get new glasses. So I'm going to have to use this money for that. So did I put the money in here already? So we have 50, 1, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 135. Yep. Perfect. And that's that for my high priority binder. Next, for my low priority binder, Black Friday is getting 15. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75. I hope I'm counting this right because <laughs> I'm focusing on my monitor as well. So what is that? Oh, there was a stain in one of the bills and it stained my envelope. I'm going to have to clean that. Future is getting $10. So now we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 10, 15, 25, 30, 230. 
I will have to do a cash condensing soon, especially because we're working with a lot of fives. Gifts is getting $20. So now we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 200. 200 for gifts. And my mom's birthday just passed and it will be my brother's birthday on Monday. So to be honest, I don't know what to get him. I'll probably get him a gift card or something. Hair is getting $10. You guys, I am so bad with getting my haircuts. Um, it takes me like a year or a year and a half to get a new haircut and it's so bad because my hair, my ends are quite dry right now. And I do want to get a haircut before a wedding that we have to go to in May. So I'm going to make sure to save up for one. 20, 30, 45, 50. And I believe, I think women's haircuts are pretty expensive. I think it's around $70 depending on where you go. Laser, I'm getting, I'm putting away 10. And... I am sick and tired of shaving, <laughs> so I really want to invest in getting laser hair removal. I know you can get deals on them on Groupon, but I know they can get expensive depending on how many sessions you need, so we'll see. Nails is getting 15 So now we have 10, 15, 25, 30. Did I count that right? 10, 15, 25, 30. Perfect. Planning is getting skipped. Skin is getting $10. And I will have to stock up on my foundation soon because I'm running out 20 30 40 5 55 60 I also use this envelope for skincare products in case we need to stock up on them special events is getting 75 so now we have 50 70 95 100 Spoil yourself. Did I say that right? Spoil yourself. That was a bit of a tongue twister. So we are putting away 35. So it should be... So we have 20, 40, 50, 5, 65, 70. And supplements is getting... dollars $10, $25, $35, $45, $50. $50 in supplements. And we're not going to be putting anything away towards anniversary just because it just we just had our anniversary in February. So I'm not going to be saving up for that just yet, or we're not going to be saving up for that just yet. So now, for my holiday binder, I'm going to be putting away $10 towards my Mother's Day envelope, 20 35 40 I'm going to update the tracker after this video. And Father's Day is also getting 10, and there should be 40 in there as well. Finally, for Christmas, we are going to be putting away $20. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. 
which is great because I am trying to save up a thousand dollars for gifts and winter activities because we did go over budget last year and this is my envelope that I got from Claudia Crafty Mama. I think she changed her Instagram but if I don't use any of the money from my wallet or from my coffee envelope I'm gonna put it inside here so I do have I'm pretty happy I do have $20 in here and once I complete this challenge I think I'll put it towards my credit cards maybe we'll see but yeah that's that for my holiday binder and that's it for today's cash stuffing you guys I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on that notification bell to be notified of new videos and I'll see you guys in the next one bye